Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and oh boy, am I excited to get into this video today. I am literally ecstatic, like I'm jumping around this entire room. I guess not literally, but what I'm going to show you guys today is possibly the answer to a four-year-old Easter egg in GTA 5. I remember last year talking about this. I remember the year before talking about this. I even remember the year before that talking about this Easter egg. And this is Ratman in GTA 5, those mysterious noises noises in the sewers. I'm pretty sure if you guys are a new or old GTA 5 player, you will have heard of Ratman at least once in your entire GTA 5 playtime. Whether it's from a friend, whether it's from someone you know, you will have heard of that name and the story behind it. And this is one of the greatest mysteries in GTA 5, one of the greatest Easter eggs, because in GTA 4, Ratman was the rarest encounter, but some players had encountered Ratman, and this is a photo of them encountering it. And some Supposedly, as the story goes, when you encounter Ratman, he will just completely take you out, and that's the end of that. You will spawn at the nearest hospital, and you don't hear anything from him again. That is how the encounter goes. And since we had that Easter egg in GTA 4, so many players have been searching and exploring the sewers in GTA 5, and they came across so many mysterious sounds, which you will hear in today's episode. Now, what I'm going to show you guys today is the fact that we might have actually found Ratman in the sewers or at least where Ratsman is located, because this might actually be, in fact, I'm confident this could actually be the answer to this Easter egg. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this. And I just want to ask you guys to smash that thumbs up button. That would, of course, be absolutely amazing. This is hands down one of the oldest myths or mysteries in GTA. I think this would actually be the first ever myth ever created in GTA 5, because Ratsman was so relatable to every single player, uh, just from previous games and from stories behind Ratman. So I think it was the first ever myth in this game. So what we're going to do is go over to the sewers. I'm also going to get Michael and Trevor over to the sewers as well. And I'm going to show you guys where you can find Ratman. And I just want to mention my nose is completely blocked. I've been sneezing all morning. So my voice might sound a little bit strange. And even though I have this cold, I was so eager to record this video. Like I literally woke up, saw the news and I was like, damn, I got to record this video. Just, just record it straight away. In fact, it's like nine in the morning right now. I just jumped straight into recording because I can't wait to get this done and I can't wait to show you guys what this is. What time is it? I'm going to set it to 3 a.m. as well. There we go. It's now three in the morning. I'm also going to pause time. <laughs> Oh man, I'm looking at videos from 2016. One of them was September 2016, another one was November 2016. I'm pretty sure I followed this mystery for two years as well. Uh, Oh wow, four years ago this 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 is crazy. All right, so Let's just carry this on. I might play a few of these clips as well, just to show you guys that the Ratman does definitely exist. Uh, this clip actually came from a video in November of 2016, which I did. I'll roll it now, guys. If you guys have seen the information going around the community, this stuff we're gonna put on the screen right now. This information comes directly from the game files. And what is pretty significant about this information is that if we take a little closer look, you will come across an audio file which is titled Sewer Gator. And if you guys don't know what a gator is, you can google it. It is simply an alligator or some form of monster if you look into in-depth definitions. And this is basically telling us there is an audio clip of a sewer monster which Rockstar Games created in GTA 5. Why would they create a sewer monster audio clip without a sewer monster? It makes no sense. So this means 100% there's a sewer monster in GTA 5. No doubt about it, somewhere in these sewers is a monster. Which showcases the sewer gator, I guess you could say, in the game files with all of the audio clips and all of those things. And also in September 2016, 
Oh gosh, I can hear like a rumbling or something. I think that's from the tram though, but in September 2016, so before that video, we also discovered loads of weird noises coming from inside the sewers. Uh, one of which was footsteps and the other one was of course the heartbeat, which you could find at the center of the sewers where you would expect Ratman to be. I'll roll that clip right now so you guys can listen to that as well. And as you will see, there will be closed off sections which you cannot access, yet you can see through into the great depths of the sewers. Anyway, get your volume turned up because we are going to take a listen at this heartbeat. And this is where the interesting part comes from. If you actually go further down the sewer where the heartbeat stops, you will actually hear footsteps in the water coming from behind one of the barred entrances into these sewers. And it's really, really interesting. If you just stand outside one of these barred entrances, you will hear the footsteps and it's not like water splashing around. It is genuine footsteps in some water. So I'll play that now as well so you guys can take a listen. So if you didn't hear those footsteps, then feel free to skip back just a few seconds because they did just play while the audio clip was playing. It was the loudest I could get it, unfortunately, so you can hear it. All you gotta do is turn up the volume. And yeah, it's fair to say that Ratman does definitely exist in the sewers. And it's only until today that I'm able to show you guys where he is located. And I am so damn excited to show you guys this. So we need to actually go over to the middle of the sewers, uh, which is quite far away, actually. I might just get myself a vehicle. All right, here we go. We're in the center. I'm going to leave my bike here as well. I'm turning my volume back up. Oh, man. You can already hear the rattling. Okay, there's the tram. You can hear the tram. Yeah, you hear that? It's still there. So you can definitely tell the difference between the tram and the heartbeat. The heartbeat carries on forever and you will only hear it when you come over to this one area in the sewers. You might hear a faded version as you walk around the other parts of the sewers, but you will hear it primarily and most boldly in this one location right at the heart of the sewers. And you can hear this heartbeat and it's just constantly going and it's the creepiest thing ever. I'm just saying it now guys, it's the creepiest thing ever. And if you take a look at the walls, you can see there's some like drawings on here, some sketches, some tags. Uh, some of these things might represent easter eggs, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure a few people have actually gone into the sewers and tried to decode a few of these things. So I'm pretty sure some of these things might mean something in regards to Ratman. And if you do what I said in the video and go up here... You can just about still hear the heartbeat. But if we go up a tiny bit more... And yeah, the heartbeat stopped. It was kind of like fading out as we came across here, but now we've actually come here. The heartbeat has just totally stopped. You can't hear it at all. So you have to stay within the heart of the sewers to hear it. And it might fade back in as we get closer, but I, I thought I may as well just let you guys know about everything we know about this so far. The fact that there's a sewer gator in the game files, which no one has really discovered until today. And there's also all of these noises which point towards this rat man or some sort of creature inside the sewers. And just listen, guys. You can hear that heartbeat again, it's coming back in. I'm gonna turn down my volume quickly because we don't really need the volume too much now. Uh, and once again, if you wanna know where the sewer gator was kind of found in GTA 4, although they were both set in different locations, it was found in a tunnel just like this. And even just walking through this now, it makes me feel very on edge as if something is gonna jump out right at me and scream at me. So I'm gonna get out of this tube. <laughs> I never like walking down this place. So it's fair to say that Ratman is a pretty big Easter egg or myth or mystery in GTA 5. But what I'm going to show you guys right now is where you can actually find him or where Rockstar Games might have placed him in the sewers. And this is what the community have been talking about for the past few weeks or so. And this is what the community believe as well. Because all you're going to want to do is actually use your mods to do this. It appears Rockstar Games may have actually put Ratman himself 
inside a wall. So you can hear all the sound effects and stuff coming from him around this area, but you can't actually meet him yourself unless there are still random encounters in GTA 5, which that I cannot confirm. But what people in the community have been discovering and finding lately is this. If you actually go into your object spooner, and oh my gosh, I can hear the heartbeat again. I can still hear it. But if you go into your object spooner, you can go through any wall you want to, and you can basically see everything happening in the sewers and what players have been doing for the past few years is exploring every single part of the sewers through the walls through the tunnels everything else like that even decoding the stuff on the wall and what they found is that if you actually go up here to where the lights are i believe it is right here actually if you go up here and take a look in this black part over here, you can see two red eyes look at you. It literally looks like two red eyes. And this was found just a few weeks ago, and since then, so many people in the community have been saying that this is Ratman. So what I decided to do is make a video showcasing this, and just ask you guys for your opinion. Do you think this is Ratman, or do you think it's not? To be honest, it would make sense that Rockstar Games would hide something like this in the game, because they might just stick the monster in the wall, so when you go near it, you can hear all the noise, and stuff coming from it. So once again, all you're going to want to do is walk up here and Ratman should be located just behind this wall. And even more interestingly is that there's actually a pipe which goes into this place as well. And if you try and explore this pipe, everything will disappear as you can see right here. So, I mean, you can't go in there, but it's just kind of like a coincidence that there's a pipe leading inside the sewers, one you can't access in the same location where people are saying Ratman exists behind this wall. So, I'm not too sure what to make of this, but I'm definitely putting it out there that Ratman could have actually been discovered in GTA 5. And like I said, I want to know your thoughts about this in the comments section below, because this is one of the first ever myths ever discovered in GTA 5. It was discovered well over four years ago, and I just couldn't put this to the side. I really couldn't. I couldn't ignore this information because so many people in the community have been saying that this is Ratman. So I thought I may as well let you guys know and ask for your opinion. Do you think Rockstar Games hid Ratman inside a wall to watch us make noises and act like the sewer monster in GTA 5? Or do you think Ratman is still to exist somewhere in the sewers and that thing in the wall is not Ratman whatsoever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But either way, there's definitely something going on inside that wall. But until next time, thank you so much for watching make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this episode and of course i recommend you do press that subscribe button just below this video so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis but guys my name is nort thank you so much for watching and until next time stay absolutely awesome i'll see you guys in the next video